these are spreaders or pads and th these ones are fully tightened up you can see i'm applying a bit of pressure they're not moving at all this one is fully tightened up to its connection point via the washer but it's got this much play in it and that play if you look underneath is actually that play is within the terminal inside the switch we believe couldn't get it to do it every time but between here and here at 500 volts we got like 200 mega ohms with the switch off with this there will be a paper manual or there will be with the board that will probably have the right torque ratings um, and that's why you follow them because this switch i mean you can see on the side it's cracked there you don't always see like good examples of why stuff should be the right talk, but that's quite a good one. Yo, what's good? Welcome back. So I'm back at the uh, fire damaged office today, back on the second floor, and I've actually got a new switch for the eating board. So if you remember from the previous video, one of the previous videos, the main switch completely had it. It'd been over tightened so much that, yeah, the connection points were just snapped with inside the switch. We were getting like, uh, you know, weird insulation resistance values. And yeah, we're, we're here to replace it today, get this livened up, we can finally do some, uh, some live tests and get this section of the building validated then as well. But yeah, you guys are gonna be with me whilst we take the old switch out, we fit the new one, and we talk it up correctly so that we can avoid the same sort of problem in the future. Let's run the intro and get into this video. So this is our new switch, there we go, so we've got the whole arrangement by the looks of it, yeah, everything, so this is a, a full on replacement, what's interesting, there we go, is um, yeah, I wanted there to be these so that we know exactly what we need to be doing. These were a nightmare to find online. I couldn't find them anywhere. I could find the manufacturing spec for this switch. The same sort of thing if you were, um, if you were, yeah, like specking this for a job sort of thing, but it didn't have any torque ratings in it, didn't have any torque values. So I thought that probably in the installation manual, which I couldn't find anywhere. So it's good to, uh, it's good to have this. That can go. And then here we have the instruction manual. So they're not very informative, if I'm honest, but here it does say for the BZM2, it's six Newton meters. So for the, for the, um, the lugs, for the links, and for the insulated links. Uh, if you were doing cables, and these had cage terminals, so BZM2 BT, it'd be 10 Newton meters. Uh, for 25 to 120 mil. So yeah, it is on here. We also need to check here, this has been added in. It says to remove some screws, so I better check that that's been done. This is just on a bit of paper that's been cut, so I think they've added this in as a, yeah, an informational piece maybe, I don't know. So we're gonna check that too. Yeah, this is an upgraded version of this switch. So I think they might have had some issues with the old one because yeah, it's a lot more substantial. These are already a lot bigger and they're doubled up. And they're substantially longer. Let's get these covers out of the way. There we go. Yeah, a lot bigger. The only annoying thing is, is, hmm. Well, one, we're gonna have to use this this old assembly 
because this isn't going to be big enough because this accounts for the meter. But two, my lugs aren't going to line up, which is interesting. This is also um, specific to this, this main setup. Not only have you got the voltage, the voltage read uh, connections for the, for the meter taken off the back of them, but they're also a different profile. These ones come out, go up and return back round uh, as these don't. These are double, which I'm assuming is for the 250 amp rating, which um, is pointless because this is a 100 amp supply and it's on a 100 amp MCCB back of the board. Uh, you haven't got selectivity there to be honest with you, but if this is just being used as a main switch, which it is, then uh, it's not going to be a problem. I think we just replace the actual switch. We, we, we leave, we're going to take these pads. These are better. I like these a lot more than the, these little ones here. Um, so we'll keep the bottom half, but the rest will leave, I think. If we undo these two screws, we should be able to get it off of the back plate. Pop that in there, there we go. Yeah, so this plate is substantially smaller than this one, and this one's designed to pick up and house like the meter, the fuses, and, and that sort of stuff. So this is no good. The neutral uh, bar doesn't need changing. That's, that's sweet, I'm happy with that. And that is exactly the same size and everything. So we're not worried about that at all. That can go there. And then this switch, I think we're just gonna lose everything out the top, this whole section, and then just replace from here down. It also says something about removing these two bolts, which I believe have been done already. So that's fine. So we can disregard that. Right, let's get a, uh, an Allen key set out, my socket set out. We'll start, start removing this bit. So now the pads are longer, does that mean it'll be, um, you'll have to reduce the lugs or just mm, the, the, They'll They'll be fine, they'll just, yeah, I'll have to bend them a bit more to, you know, they won't float on as nicely, which is a shame, but they're so much better that I'll take that. I'm not gonna re-lug them all up just because you're only doing it because, do you know what I mean, for neatness, for OCD yeah. really. What size? Uh, three eight. Yeah, it's the size I'd recommend. Oh, they, it went on sale. I'll just keep these because <laughs> screws might differ between models. Should just slide out once we drop these two screws out. Old. Do you want to separate the old and the new? Just yeah. Don't want to get them mixed up. May as well use as much of the new bits as I can. Yeah, wow. So that's the damage. You can see the play in there. But what I'm gonna do, if we got time, is I'm gonna quickly um, take this apart afterwards, hopefully, and just show you exactly what's happened in there, just because I think that's really interesting. And yeah, it's such a good example of like, yeah, talk going wrong. Um, that would be cool to see. So they're sitting there like so. Now we've got this one. So it is an exact match, a BZMB2 slash S250. Yeah, it's exactly the same. I don't know what the hell that's for. That's weird. Let's be honest with you. 
So the, is that coated copper or is it just a different material? Uh, it'd be coated copper. Why would they coat it? Is it just... Um, it's a very good question. I don't know. We these ones aren't being fitted, are they? So. Mm. Yeah, it's copper, coated copper. Um, I'm not sure. That is a question, Jay, which is out of my area of expertise. It's a great question. It is a great question, yeah. These fill types, they may well be talked, but I just don't understand. Obviously, this is, City said this is for the newer style board, but it's the same part number. They've clearly upgraded it a little bit as well. Um, and also, I don't think this has got a, it either comes like this as standard, and then you would, you would adapt it. This kit will be separate. You know, this, this metering kit and stuff will be separate. Oh, yeah, so you would combine, you know, this switch with the CT kit and you end up with, with what you should have here. So that may be the case, but I just don't get what these are for. Again, if anyone knows, like, I don't know if they're protect, to protect this in transit and you remove them. Or if it's, I, yeah, I don't know. Try and slot these back in. Are so these, uh, no, these, so these are just little square plates, oh. um, and that's what you tighten between. It's just a nut, a square nut, um, and obviously on this one, it's that snapped where it's been over tightened. Oh, what it's kind of span. It's span it. Yeah, I should be able to show you. It's the wrong size, isn't it? That's what I'm struggling. So it's spinning. Yeah. So what it's done is it's just kept spinning. If you tighten it, you get the same effect. See that's just spinning? Mm -hmm. So where they've over tightened it so much, it's snapped, as so obviously it, it shouldn't be able to do that. It's yeah. locked in. Yeah. Um, but where they've over tightened it, it's snapped, which has cracked the back. It's cracked here, look. Um, and when I've undone it, I've just undone I've just done it in reverse, which obviously, again, hasn't helped. But if it wasn't so over-tightened in the first place, if it was torqued up, then um, yeah, it probably would have been sweet. So those just want to sit on the front there. I can see the hole in the back of the gear tray. Um, I can see that one as well, so let's go for that one. So these are just screws to just hold the switch to the gear tray basically yeah. hold it into position so that back's that's it right so we've got this fitted we don't need the guards because we've got these two we know they fit so that can go that can go that can go back on yeah i can only think that this although is a 250 amp main switch obviously the kit is all 100 amps that's why it's smaller because on the new one, everything's a bit more meatier. That'd be from the upgrades as well. Well, no, this is what I'm saying. I think this this kit we've bought, although it's the same switch and everything like that, it's a 250 amp kit. As this board, although it's a it's a 250 amp switch, I think all the all the bus bar links and everything is all made for 100 amp. Hence why it's a bit smaller. I don't know, or they've upgraded it because of issues. I don't know, but it's the same sort of setup, really. The only thing we're actually going to do different is we're going to talk it up to six newton meters, which doesn't seem a lot, but maybe that's why. Six newton meters is not, you know, my torque screwdriver does six newton meters. Uh, not anymore, actually. I've got a Wira one now. I've got a Weeha one somewhere. The Weeha one you need two, don't yeah. you? Because one only goes to three and one goes to five or something. Right, so they're on, they're on. We said we were going to talk this up, didn't we? <clears throat> so the back plate screws want to be one newton meter from what I can tell. 0.82. So we want to be one. Not a lot 
all, but I suppose it's just to hold it in place. Right, so that's fine, that's talked up. Now we want to get these to six newton meters. It's just double check, but BZM2, six newton meters for the bus bar links for lugs and for insulated, insulated bus bar. Um, six newton meters, okay. This is still set to 15. Aren't you meant to unwind it before you use it? Yes, Jay, you are, right? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, I always say that in my videos as well, you're messing around there. No, no, you should, yeah. It's because um, all you're basically doing when you're setting the torque of it, there'll be a spring in it. Mm -hmm. And when you're adjusting that, you're just you're stretching the spring out or you're compressing it. So if you unset it, the spring won't be tensioned or it won't you know it won't be being stretched as if you leave it stretched for long periods of time it sh apparently derates you know it affects it um but yeah if you're going to get it calibrated and stuff then do you have to get it calibrated or not yeah you should do yeah every year how often is it tensioned? that's not tight at all yeah yeah that's what i mean every year you should do um that is not tight at all But when you look, when you shake that that bus bar, can you see the whole bit of the switch moving and everything? Like that's it's not go, it's, it's, it's it's not going anywhere, yeah. And this is what I mean. A lot of the time, it's less than you think. It's always it's always less than you think. It's like a Weera advert, isn't it? If Weera want to sponsor the channel, we really appreciate it. No. Don't care about sponsors. We do care about sponsors, <laughs> but like, I'll still be, I'll still be here with no, like, do you know what I mean? Nah, I'll b buy the stuff anyway. <laughs> oh. We're a one. Um. Might do. That's got... what I'm getting because I can't eat chocolate. Yeah, to be fair. Oh, you can't eat chocolate now either. No. So, God, you have you must have done the research. So, you've got to go gluten-free. What's the damage? What are the what are the key things we're missing out on? Uh, bread. Bread? Yeah, pasta. Bread and pasta. Yeah, not like sugar so, enough. no holidays to Italy? No, definitely not. Um, pizza? No pizza. Oh, no mate. I oh, know. No burgers. No burgers. Can't have bacon, sausages. And what happens if you do? Uh, I just. I'll, it's I've it's got not good. Got, like fungus growing in my stomach. Because of gluten. Uh, yeah, because of gluten, sugar. That's what feeds it. So instead of I'm not actually craving sweets. My. Oh. Uh, the inside's craving it. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. And what have you just had, like stomach aches and stuff? Like? No, I've just been really tired and always ill. Oh. So my dad went and saw someone, so I went and had that. That is crazy. I'm going from eating sweets every day to not having it for 13 weeks. Oh, so can you go back to so it? It cures it, yeah. Okay, and then what? You just got to watch it after that. Uh, yeah, it's just don't go, don't go mad. Yeah, yeah. I've got to go back before just to make sure it's all gone before I can get it all clear. That's crazy. But the woman was really sound about it. She was like, like she's really good. Yeah, yeah. Can you save me some money, though? Yeah. Free Saying free, that though, free, free plus more expensive. I was going to say, don't they charge it out at a premium? Yeah, so we went out for dinner on Saturday night and uh, a gluten free pit of bread was a pound more expensive than the normal one. It's just like a tax, isn't it? Yeah. It's like being vegan without, you know. Wanting to be vegan. Yeah, against your will. Yeah. I'm joking. If there's any vegans watching, I'm joking. I actually went vegan for a bit, didn't I? I tried it. I tried it. Gave it a go. I couldn't. I've done it for like a week and then, uh, yeah, no, it worked for me. Not for me. Yeah. 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 Ye
no cross nuts. No, no cross. Oh wait. Uh, does does Wenzel's even cater no, Wes, Wes, for a man Wes, like yourself Wenzel's now? Wenzel's is a goner. Mm. Basically, going to be living off steak, eggs, and salmon for the next. Probably like a like a a wool plug or something. I'll have glue somewhere. Somewhere. That's what holds it all together. Yeah. So yeah, see how they've just sort of, I've had to twist them off a little bit, just kink them one side um, to, uh, yeah, to account for that. Right, so we're still set to six Newton meters, which is insane. How low it is. That's what it is on a single face angle board, it's six Newton meters. But, I mean, they ain't going anywhere. Look, the whole switch, the whole casing's moving. You know? Like, they're, they're, they are solid, and I guess that's kind of the point. What we'll do, just because we have messed around with it a little bit, is we'll get this one, six. So they did come to They did, or they're... Or they've overdone them. Yeah, they're all sweet. They're all sweet, cool. Um, you're definitely more than six. We haven't got a rating <laughs> for you, but we know you're more than six. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get these covers back on. We'll talk it up downstairs. We'll liven it up, I think. Oh, and we'll take this apart as well. There's a little one. There. Oh, this heartburn. I can't even drink anymore. Mate, it, it don't matter. Even if I just have one, um, if I just have one beer, I'll have heartburn the next day. I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm past my sell-by date. <laughs> Look, he's, he's there, look. There he is. Sweet. That's it, it's another subscriber, look. There we go. Another subscriber. You just got to go door to door. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. You got the what, the VDE? Yeah, the class rents for 40 quid. For 40 quid? Yeah. VDE, class wrench. Yeah. They used to, mate, they're like 60 quid. Oh, really? 68 pound we used to sell them for. And that was at like a, I can't say. And that was like at a, you know, a below average margin. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, I think I paid 39.90 per pair. 39.90, 250s? Yep. Yeah. Not the fit, is it? That'd be too simple. Um, yeah, it won't go high enough though. Um, to be honest, what I need to do as well is, oh look, pizza. We're back here. Should we do it? Should we look at it again? No, I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> it's me and my missus. We don't want to see that. Dutch pancakes with biscoff and white chocolate, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, sweet and sour chicken with noodles, steak and chips with garlic butter, and mac and cheese. Take me back, take me back. What have you got for lunch today? I um I didn't meal prep because oh. I was I was feeling sorry for myself yesterday, and I had a ballet show. So I have got Wenzel's for for lunch today, mate. I'm gonna have to go back to the van and see if I can find something to do this. One sec.
Okay, cool, we're in. Ugh, with an extension bar. Right, 100 amp frames is 100 amp and less rated frames. This is 100 amp is 10 Newton meters. There we go. And then go the right way. Three, sweet, that's torqued up. Now we move the lock. Get him in there, look. Oh, right, so that's all torqued up. I'm now gonna go upstairs, short out between L1 and Earth, so that we can then do a dead test. We're then gonna turn it on, do a live test, and then I promise we'll, we'll take the switch apart and see what the damage is in there. Though, this is technically the end point of our circuit and then we go from here into there to give us division of responsibility. The R1, R2 I'm just going to take to the full end basically, just test the whole lot through the isolator, make sure it's sweet. Um, what I'm probably going to do Jay is I'm going to leave you up here and you can go between all phases yeah and then we'll do, we'll go between neutral as well get a little, yeah that's it. Um, and um, yeah, just make sure it's sweet, mate, and then we'll, we'll liven up. You can wait up here while, while we liven up, yeah? Hello, mate. You don't know one? Not yet, mate. Just wanted, to, just wanted to hear your voice before I got started. Cool, 0.13, right, L2, mate. Cool, L3. Yeah. 0.14. All right, and then go between, um, go between neutral and uh, L1. Okay, yeah. Sweet. Cool, mate, that's all good. Can you put that cover back on? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna liven up just yet, mate. I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna take this switch apart quickly. Wrap okay, this one, good. wrap this one up, all right? Yeah, mate, come down, yeah. Right, so this is this switch anyway, before we wrap this video up. So we saw here, we've got a massive crack down the back and that's basically, I think, from where this is twisted and um, yeah, just cracked the case in. We've also got this crack down the side here and then we've got this, that crack sort of runs all the way up and you can see in between as well. And that's from mainly, from what I can tell from that nut spinning, just forcing the casing apart. But what doesn't make sense is even though the casing's cracked, this has got so much play in it, even from with inside the switch, as these have got a little bit now um, because, yeah, we've been moving the thing about, but these have got nowhere near that much. Just something's also been broken internally in the switch. So I wanted to see if we can take this thing apart quickly and, um, yeah, see what damage has actually been done inside the switch, because who knows? Who knows, but it just might be a good example of, yeah, why torque's important. And although six Newton meters feels like absolutely nothing, even I agree with that. It's obviously there for a reason. Is that too small? No, that's the right size, cool. If we take all these off, we can get sort of the front cover off the switch. Not that I've, I've literally never even thought about taking one of these apart before. There'll be like some technical director from Eaton watching, just like, no, don't do it. There we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. 
go. This is the inside of our switch. And you can see. Huh. How mad's that look? How mad is that? I wonder what they're for then. Oh mate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got that out of the way. Let's see if we can get that out. So I think, yeah, what you what's happened could be incredibly hard to show you, but the plastic moulding of the switch you can see here. It's holding everything in place. And you can see here, hopefully that's in focus, um, that it's, it's all cracked internally as well as externally. It's all cracked down there as well. And that's where all that play is coming from. I mean, there's literally a bit of a plastic stuck in there that I can't even get it out. Would that damage the IP rating as the switch as well? I don't know if this even has an IP rating, mate, but it will damage the... It's not going to be sweet. Um, you know, oh, there we go, mate. More copper. More copper. There we go, let's get that out of the way. That's on a spring. That's gone. Get that out of the way. This should lift out now, in theory. Where that casing's all the way cracked, so you can see it's broken here. Um, and where that's cracked down there, that is what holds this in place. This part of the switch mechanism in place, this contact. So where I was saying this had play in it and these didn't, it's because where it's been over torqued here, it's snapped the plastic internally and therefore this is just bouncing all over the place and that's why it's fucked. So. Yeah, you can literally see there by over tightening this and not following the torque rating, you can literally ruin the switch. And then we've had to we've had to get a replacement in, you know, cost for that, me to fit it, all that sort of stuff. So there's a perfect example of why torque ratings are actually important. Right, we're on there. We're on there. Rev light. An excellent start. Right, I've now got to validate the the life side of these circuits, and it's all going to get very boring. I think this is a great natural end to the video, wouldn't you agree, Jay? New switches fitted. We've had a look inside the old one, which yeah, was absolutely fucked. Um, but yeah, you can just see. I know I'm repeating myself, but you can just see how important torque is. As much as we're like, oh, that's nothing. You can get another three turns on that. You couldn't. It's pretty tight actually. But yeah, it just goes to show how important talk is. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, enjoyed this content, then please like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. A lot of the viewers aren't subscribed. I've got lots of videos coming out soon. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any. And I'll catch you on the next one.